Hello guys and welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we remembered that upcoming is the day that the young boy who appears in our room sometimes said that we were going to face one of them, whatever that means. So in this episode, we're going to be seeing what happens when we finally face off. And yes, we finally got to Courage Level 2. Awesome. The reason that I went ahead and cut it off at May 8th instead of going to May 9th and like starting some stuff up is because we're going to be immediately like moving into stuff in just a sec. Yo, Yuki. How's it going? Do you feel like you're getting stronger after every battle? Yeah, a lot. Yeah. Great. Keep it up. Keep on training. With real battle experience, you'll be ready for whatever comes our way. I'll be fully recovered in no time, so you can count on me to help out on the front lines. But don't let your guard down just because I got your back. Class has ended for today. There will be a full moon tonight. It is the day I was forewarned about. I wonder if something will happen. I should probably head back to the dorm just in case. You're still at it? Yes. You never know when an enemy might appear. But I thought you couldn't scan outside of Tartarus. To be honest, I am indeed lacking in that area. Maybe this is the best Penthesilea can do in terms of data gathering. Though I must say, the power of Persona seems to be much more diverse than I once thought. We even have someone who can switch Personas in the midst of battle. There's something special about his ability. And it hasn't even been that long since his awakening. Yeah, I was surprised too. But in the end, it's up to him whether or not he reaches his full potential. Hmm? It's a shadow. What? You actually found one? Wait, something's not right. The reading is too big. I've never detected an enemy of this size. Wait. Is it like that huge one from last month? I think so. Oh, well then. This is gonna be fun. I'll wake up the others. We're here. Where is it? I'll rip it a new one. We've detected a shadow outside of Tartarus. We don't know for sure, but we think it's another big one like we saw last month. We must defeat any we find out there as quickly as possible. People may not be aware of the Dark Hour's existence, but if the city is destroyed during that time, inconsistencies will be left behind. In other words, we need to kick some ass, right? Well, count me in. <sighs> Junpei. Akihiko, you stay here and wait for the chairman. What? Are you kidding? I'm going. You still need time to recover. Like this, you'd only get in the way. What you say? They'll fare better than you in your current state. Have faith in them, Akihiko. They've already seen battle firsthand. <sighs> Damn it. Relax. I've got it covered. <sighs> Guess I don't have a choice. You're in charge. Him again? Can you do it? I'll do my best. Good. We're counting on you. At this rate, you'll be stuck playing leader forever. I mean, not like I care. You should let the three of them go first. You need to get ready, right? Yes. Let's rendezvous in front of the station. Got it. All right, let's go. She. She'll be here soon. There's a full moon tonight. Looks even creepier during the dark hour. Huh? What the? Uh. 
Sorry to keep you waiting. Listen carefully. Tonight, I'll be providing support from here. Everything else is the same. The Shadow is currently located on a monorail not far from the station. To get there, you'll have to walk on the tracks. Uh, are you serious? Isn't that... dangerous? Not to worry. Electronic equipment is rendered inoperable during the dark hour, including trains. But... your bike? This was specially made to handle it. Now, if circumstances change, I'll notify you immediately. All right, let's get started. Okay. Yeah! Let's do this! Holy hell, we're real high up! I think I'm gonna hurry! <sighs> What even? There should be a monorail about 200 meters ahead from where you are now. Get there as quickly as you can. We don't want any passengers to get hurt. This is such an awesome set piece for the first uh, full moon operation. Alright, bring it on. I don't care how big it is. It's going down. Hey, don't go... Hey, don't get too excited and do something stupid. But yeah, running along the train tracks here, and then watch this. Gonna wait for it to happen. Hey. This shot. Is it supposed to... Is it that one stop right there? Looks pretty normal so far. This shot of Tartarus in the background and the full moon up there. It's so cool! Can you all hear me? Yes, loud and clear. We just got here, but I don't see anything out of the ordinary. The readings are definitely coming from that monorail. Proceed with caution and stay together. Got it. <laughs> My persona's just itching for a fight. Well then, let's head on in. Don't you dare look up. Yeah, yeah, I won't. Uh, hmm. But uh, don't blame me if I happen to catch a glimpse. Say, why don't we dig Junpei a nice grave? So that's uh, a person, right? Like a passenger? They've been transmogged. Creepy. But these guys aren't going to remember a thing of all this, yeah? Probably better that way. Huh? Damn! It won't open! What's wrong? What happened? It looks like we're trapped inside. It must be the Shadow. It knows you're there. Be ready for anything. Stay on full alert. Roger. I like transmogged as a it's phrase. Too quiet here. It's too quiet. Oh, I think that was voice acted. Sorry. Huh? Where are all the shadows? Damn. I was all ready to go and everything. This place is so creepy. There it is! Hey! Get back here! Wait! The enemy is acting strangely. I have a bad feeling about this. If we don't go after it, we're gonna lose it! You're in command right now. What do you think of the situation? We should be careful. I agree. It would be dangerous to chase after it blindly. So what if it's dangerous? We can't just stand here and let it get away. We can beat that thing, no problem. Hell, I'll do it myself. Do you pay? Wait. Watch out! Behind you. 
Alright, we will be doing battles here during the operation. Uh, that's why I was kind of hesitant at first about doing, um, about having Yukari be at level 8, uh, be a couple, and having her be a couple levels below everyone else, because that is kind of scary when you, uh, doing, when you're doing an operation, when you're going up against this, because you only have Yukari with you and not Junpei. We should be good, though. We are doing a lot of damage to these enemies. Yeah, and that's not too much damage to us, so we should be completely fine here. And hey, we got the weakness! Alright, you won! Great work out there! And Takipa's up to level 9, so we'll, we won't even have to worry about levels. Anyways. This is just what the enemy wants! There's not much we can do about it now. You have to go after him or you'll be picked off one by one. Damn it, Junpei, what are you thinking? From what I can tell, he's only a few cars ahead. Okay, we'll catch up to... Get out of our way! Okay, it's just gonna be kind of like this where it's battle after battle, so I'll have some time to just talk about whatever. One thing that I will say is I'm glad that we have that I'm playing through a version of this game that has 3D animations and stuff like that because Stuff like Mitsuru pulling up on a motorcycle is a lot funnier when you're experiencing it like that rather than how Portable does it, which is just through playing sound effects and saying in text what a character is doing. Okay, that didn't work there. Well done. Let's continue exploring. What's up with Junpei? Did something happen? Alright, while we're rushing through here, um... Yeah. Junpei's not in this car, either. I can see him all the way up there. He was acting kind of strange, wasn't he? Why'd he snap and get so upset? Well, I guess we can ask him once we've caught up to him. Let's go. Alright, now that everyone's reunited, we can fight as a team again. Your electricity, your wind. You might be fire, because uh, since wind is Takaba's thing and the player can do zap, you're probably for Junpei. Anyways, one thing about um, the original that was pretty cool is that um, Yuki would... Uh, when he would summon his evoke, when he would summon his persona with his evoker, he would spin the evoker, and it looked really cool. It was just like a tiny detail, so it doesn't really matter that much. But it is something that's uh, pretty cool and was worth noting. All right, let's hope this works. Yes, okay. Very nice. Now they can all go ahead and. This should take out all of the enemies. Yeah, very nice. Well done. Let's continue exploring. See? That's what happens when you don't listen. Well, are you okay? Of course I am. I was doing just fine. Hey, what's your problem? Be careful, you three. I don't detect any movement, but stay alert. What the? Why are we moving? It looks like the 
the entire monorail is under the Shadow's control. What? Is that really okay? Uh, this doesn't look good. If we don't stop it, it's going to crash into the next train. Crash? Hey, what are we gonna do? Calm down and listen. I detect a powerful reading in the front car. That must be our target. You'll have to defeat that to stop the runaway train. Crap! What kind of messed up ride is this? Okay, so we actually have a bit of a time limit right now. Not in reality, but in terms of, you know, in-universe, we have to start moving real quick. One thing, uh, one thing that I do have to uh, bring up real quick is that um, in a previous episode, I was like, where the hell did this... I got a Twilight Fragment and I was like, where the hell did this Twilight Fragment come from? Uh, but now, going back, I realized it's because I leveled up the uh, C's social link. Uh, it's, but that's one that progresses with plot, so I didn't really notice it. Um, so yeah, that's something cool to keep in mind, that you also gain Twilight Fragments from uh, plot-progressed social links as well. There's no time! Run! I'm ready. There it is! The hell is this? That's our target? It has to be. There's nowhere else to go. Approaching the other train. Hurry! Hurry? What are we even supposed to do here? I've never seen one this big before, but there's no time. We have to end this now. Alright, our first real boss fight, and it's one with an actual time limit. So, gotta get to work. We have half an hour, which doesn't seem too bad at the moment. Uh, one thing that is interesting is, I'm pretty sure in the original Persona 3, uh, there, there was a time limit throughout the entire train ride once the, once the train started moving. Because, you know, the time limit is that we're about to crash. Alright, we got Dia for you. Heal yourself, and then Takaba will do the same thing to herself. The then Junpei, you can go ahead and start up with that. So yeah, that time limit was kind of a facade. Uh, go ahead and use Zio. I don't think this boss actually has any weaknesses, so we'll just be chipping away at it with our uh, best moves. I don't think Confuse works on it either, so... Yeah, just slowly chipping away. The boss can also summon other uh, enemies to help it with, um... What to do? 
to help it with fighting. So we'll focus on those real quick, get those out of the way. Thankfully they don't have as much HP as their boss, so... Give them hell. They don't do as much damage either, so that's fine. That might actually... Okay, thankfully he resisted that. But he is frozen, which means he can't do anything at the moment, so... I'll heal you up. And then Junpei, go ahead and... Get rid of this guy. We have a lot of SP, so we won't have to worry about that too much. Oh, come on! Okay, I think these little guys do have a weakness, though, so... Yeah, that guy's weak to Zeo. And then I'll just... use a normal attack. 12 minutes. We should be able to get this done in time. Uses a lot of ice moves, which, if you'll notice, there was a lot of frost around, uh, like, on the walls and floors and the ceiling and stuff like that just outside. So, makes sense. I'll go ahead and use heal on Junpei for now. I don't know why I said for now, it's a one-time thing. Invitation to Chaos, that means we speed up once more. The monorail is going even faster now. You're running out of time. Four minutes, that's a lot less time. So let's speed this thing up. Uh I'm gonna have Yukari heal, so I'll have Yuki. Oh, never mind. Now it's okay, it is it does block against ice, so good to keep that in mind. What's the plan? Let's go. I don't even remember pulling out a persona with ice moves. Okay, two new guys right there. You're weak to electricity. You're unknown. Oh wait, yeah. I don't know why I didn't use Zeo that time. Are you weak to wind? Yes. And we don't have anything that attacks multiple... So, don't miss. Oh, you're also weak to... Pierce. Oh gosh, okay. You two focus on healing up Junpei. Actually, you can go ahead and heal up Makoto. And you attack as always. Okay, and the boss is now down. We had a little over two minutes to spare. Leave it to me. Did... Did we stop? Uh, I think so. Do you read me? Is everyone alright? Yeah, we're okay. <laughs> my, my knees are shaking. Dude, I'm like drenched in sweat. <sighs> it sounds like you're safe. 
I'm sorry I couldn't do more to help on my end. I don't detect any more shadows. Well done. You can come on back now. Wait, how did you know which one was the break? Uh... I followed my instincts. <laughs> you saved me again. Thanks. Uh, you know what? Never mind. Anyone want to grab a bite to eat on the way? I'm freaking starving. Our team survived another dangerous fight. It feels like our trust in each other has deepened. It's me. Reporting in from the scene. We've just finished up over here. The monorail did not sustain any noticeable damage. A job well done, Kirijo-kun. Huh, when I heard they hijacked a monorail, I feared the worst. Excellent work taking care of that. Now I don't have to worry about tomorrow's headlines. The team did a great job. They've learned a lot in a surprisingly short time. But what was up with the shadows? They've never done something like hijacking a train before. This is getting out of hand. I'll be looking into the matter. Does this mean... it's begun? Hmm. Let's not jump to any conclusions. For now, we should study their behavior for patterns or clues. We can't afford to keep waiting for them to make the first move. If only I had more power, things wouldn't be so difficult for everyone. Don't be so hard on yourself. You're doing fine. More importantly, do you have anything to drink, Sanada-kun? Huh? Why do you look so tired, Ikutsuki-san? Wait... Don't tell me that bicycle outside is yours! Boy, am I going to be sore tomorrow. The boy from my dreams warned me about a hardship. It seems like his prediction came true. I wonder what this could mean. I'm too exhausted to make any sense of it right now. I should rest as soon as I get back to the dorm. Oh, Yuki, were you able to get some rest after last night? I apologize for the trouble, but I'm counting on you. And don't worry, Akihiko will be rejoining from the front line soon enough as well. That aside, don't forget that exams are coming up, so why don't you take a today so so why don't you take today to relax a little? I will be doing that, because that has been the end of our first month here in Persona 3 Reload. We got to a full moon, we fought a giant shadow, just like the one we saw when we first arrived at the dorm, and we saved the day pretty much. We saved a lot of people from dying, so Thank you guys so much for watching, and in the next episode, we're going to continue our daily life here and, prep and probably see a lot more stuff start to pop up. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!